He is known for his contributions as a composer in the field of music. He became a noted violinist in Newcastle's subscription concerts and was appointed as a principal violist at Covent Garden. His name is William Shield. In the realm of music history, there is one name that stands out, William Shield, a legendary composer and violinist. Born in Swalwell near Gateshead, County Durham, Shield's musical journey began under the tutelage of his father. However, tragedy struck when both his parents passed away while he was still a child. Undeterred, Shield continued to study music with Charles Avison in Newcastle upon Tyne while also working as an apprentice shipbuilder in South Shields. Shield's talent as a violinist soon gained recognition, and he became a prominent figure in Newcastle's subscription concerts. His reputation led him to Scarborough, where he took on the role of leading a theatre orchestra. In 1772, his musical prowess caught the attention of Felice Giardini, who appointed Shield as a violinist in the opera at Covent Garden. From 1773 onwards, Shield held the position of principal violist at Covent Garden. Not only was Shield a gifted performer, but he also made a name for himself as a composer. His compositions were highly regarded, and he had the opportunity to meet the renowned Joseph Haydn during his tenure at Covent Garden. In 1817, Shield's musical achievements were recognized when he was appointed as the master of the king's music. One notable aspect of Shield's compositions was his inclination towards incorporating folk tunes into his works, a practice common among composers of his time. Among Shield's vast repertoire, his English light opera, Rosina, stands out as a masterpiece. Originally intended to be performed as a light-hearted afterpiece to a more serious work sung in Italian, Rosina showcased Shield's talent for creating catchy melodies and incorporating spoken dialogue. It was a precursor to the modern musical, featuring elements like English lyrics and themes, as well as the use of folk and popular melodies. Shield can be considered one of the pioneers of the genre, paving the way for future composers of musicals. William Shield, the renowned composer, passed away on January 25, 1829, at his residence in London. In his will, he left all his possessions in a heartfelt tribute to his beloved partner, and Mrs. Shield. However, when the will was proven on March 6, 1829, a surprising revelation came to light. The estate was claimed by a woman named Anne Stokes, also known as Anne Shield, who was identified as a spinster from Marleybone. Victorian chroniclers avoided delving into the matter further, leaving us with little information about Anne and the circumstances surrounding the claim. Hashtag paragraph 2 hashtag. Following his death, William Shield was laid to rest in the South Cloisters of Westminster Abbey, in the same grave as Johann Peter Salomon. Astonishingly, no marker was placed to indicate his final resting place at the time. It wasn't until the centenary of his passing that efforts were made to locate his grave. Eventually, a small marble tablet was installed as close to the grave as possible, ensuring that Shield's memory would be honored. Hashtag paragraph 3 hashtag. John Mad Jack Fuller, a close friend of Shield, commissioned sculptor Peter Raw to create a memorial for the composer in Westminster Abbey. However, the dean of the Abbey, Dr. Ireland, objected to the use of the word, gentleman, in the text and refused permission for the tablet to be installed. Undeterred, Fuller had the tablet placed in his home church, St. Thomas a Becket in Breitling, Sussex. The tablet features a medallion portrait of William Shield, accompanied by an inscription that includes the Latin abbreviation DDD, meaning, gives, devotes, and dedicates. Hashtag paragraph for hashtag. To commemorate Shield's legacy, a memorial cross was erected in his native parish of Wickham in 1891. Located near the oldest Shield grave, the cross stands as a tribute to the composer's life and achievements. Additionally, in Swalwell, Gateshead, where Shield was born, the local council erected a memorial in December 2009. The memorial is situated close to the garage that now occupies the place of his birth. Furthermore, the Gateshead School's music service pays homage to Shield by dedicating a room in the Gateshead Dryden Center to him. The Gateshead Youth Orchestra frequently performs Shield's compositions, including the overtures to Rosina and The Travelers in Switzerland. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.